The Mavericks of Sequential Art. Here's Comic Book Man and Boeth's Indie News. I'm the devil's candy! <laughs> Independent Comic Book News, episode 37. Don't go near the dumpster. Hey folks, how you doing? Comic Book Man here. Welcome once again to my video outhouse. It's time for... Bo. Indie News. Indie News. Indie News is coming to you from the Indie Alley at Alternate Reality, which is located at the intersection of 111th and Kedzie in... De Wait a second. What? Well, got it. Uh, 111th and Kedzie. <laughs> that was a rat. That wasn't a water bug. What's wrong with you? We're in an alley. <laughs> Alternate Reality. All new comics are 15%. What do you hang on? Every day. For everyone, i got to work that in at least once every time we shoot these. <laughs> First up, we've got news about the king himself, Jack King Kirby. Kirby. Well, he's still dead, you know. Well, what the hell? <laughs> Alex Ross and Kurt Busiek are going to work together again on Dynamite's Kirby Genesis, a relaunch of Jack Kirby's creator-owned characters. Now, mm -hmm. he did, they did some promo stuff, and the promo thing looked like the ad for Marvels, and then people went... Didn't he rip himself off with that one? Then we found out that Kurt Busiek will help write this limited series from Dynamite, which will probably not sell. Well, the Kirby stuff, the non-Marvel Silver DC Star, Kirby stuff, Silver Star, and Captain Victory, Captain Victory, and uh, God, uh, Crunchy Nuts, Satan Seven, Satan Seven, Satan Six, it was Six, though. Satan Six, oh, yeah, it was Six, Satan six, 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 and all that stuff. That stuff never sold when it first came out. As, as great as Jack Kirby and as, as much as as much as we revere Jack Kirby here at Alternate Reality, and we do. Uh, that stuff Pretty never, cute. ever, 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 ever sold. Nothing Kirby did independent after once you get past New Gods and Eternals ever sold worth a damn because he was on the downward side of his career by that point. But Dynamite's going to try one more time. Well, you know what? You know what? You know what? Uh, uh, Alex Ross managed to take all the uh, all those public domain characters for Project Superpowers and turn them into something. You may not be crazy about them or you may love, love them to death, but whatever, they sold. I would imagine the sales of this thing will, will probably determine on who the artist is, and they announced that the two of them are working on it, but they haven't announced who's going to draw it. Yeah. I think the choice of artist could kill this thing or make it really interesting. Well, hopefully, because Alice pick, doesn't have a lot of time to draw all this stuff. Hopefully, they'll pick good artists. You know, part of the part of the problem with that Kirby stuff, at least as far as I was concerned, is that Kirby's drawing, his eyes were going, and Mike Royer was inking a lot of his stuff, and Royer never did anything good for his pencils. And as his far characters as I was got bigger and bigger. He, and you know, bigger. Kirby was an idea man. Kirby was an idea man first and foremost, and an artist second, at least as far as I'm concerned. You can argue about his '60s and '50s stuff if you want, but he was an idea man first, and he had some wonderful ideas. There's nothing wrong with the concepts that he came up with, whether it's Fourth World or Eternals, or even some of that goofy Black Panther stuff. They're really they're, the concepts themselves are pretty well grounded and pretty sound. And the same with stuff like. Satan six. The concepts are okay. Somebody needs to come in and rework them, though, and draw them better. Anyway, and that's my soapbox. I Thank you, boys and girls. That was Jack Kirby's fit, number one fan. PVP, a book that would love to sell as many tight, many units as Satan six. Well, is leaving. They're leaving image. image. I believe this is the last issue from Image, and they're going to self-distribute the book. Which means, if you want to get the book, you got to get it from Scott Kurtz personally. Well, I hope you all enjoyed buying this book here at Alternate Reality because, like with ha like with no not ha like with Jericho over DDP, those won't be here at Alternate Reality anymore. <laughs> uh, over at Anti Planetar, uh, Larry Young, Jimmy Palamani, and film producer Jason Netler have formed Kickstart Comics. Yay! It's a brand new company. Yeah, they've already announced seven books will be starting in October, November. The comics will not only be seven like, books. Seven. Well, not exactly books. I mean, keep listening. They'll be available here at the store. They will. Actually, yes. Yes. You can oh, you're them. anticipating a lot. You can yeah. order them if you want. But I can also, do many things if I want. <laughs> but they'll also be available at Walmart. Now, each book will be an 88-page color standalone oh, trade graphic paperbacks. novel. Oh, they're trade So they're, they're not novels. individual issues. They're 88-page graphic novels, which will be available. At comic shops and at Walmart. Walmart's supposedly doing a special shelf just for these comics. So and they've already announced seven books. Do you have seven. any idea what some of these books are? Uh, most of you who work in these books, you've never heard of. The guy who's writing, uh, uh, Mark Burnadin, who's writing The Authority, he's doing one of the books, but a lot of people working on these books are brand new folks. And of course, the plan is to turn all these into what? Movies. Movies! Yeah, there you go. Well, I assume the folks at Walmart will take the same tender, loving care with this that they take with everything at Walmart, and they'll shovel it onto a shelf and forget about it and pitch it out the back door after two weeks <laughs> to make room for more smiley faces with price cuts on them. 
Our last story, IDW will do a weekly five-issue limited series called... Five Ways to Die. It's written by Andy Schmidt. It's drawn by one of my favorite artists with a goofy ass Where, name. Where's my Glock at? I want to make she, a brain slurpy. <laughs> she's going to draw the book. It's a limited series. It's a follow up cop who yes. has five days to live <laughs> after five. an accident puts him, his wife, and his daughter in the hospital. So he will actually die at the end of these five issues. Now and how does he know he has five days to live as opposed to four or because six? Because the doctor in the hospital goes, you got, <laughs> you got about five <laughs> days mind. left. Well, dude, why did I even ask? I thought it was five ways to die. It's five, five days. Five days, to, days die. to die. So basically he's got... Days, ways, come on. Days. <laughs> What so, do you want out of us? So, so if you ever read, if you ever read the uh, Matthew Bl the Block film, Eight Million Ways to Die, this guy's only got five days, five days, so and then he'll be dead. Minutes. He'll be dying a painful death. I'm gonna lend you fifty million dollars or dollars or something. What does it matter? Oh, it was a typo for Christ's sake! I just did it verbally. Get over it. We're done. We got no more news. Come back for the next segment. That's right. We're finished because here's the news. It's all done. But you can read more. Don't throw it at you. You, you can read just, more. You just yelling. You can read more indie news at the store's website. And, and, and the mouth that roars here sends it to me to post up. And, Bo? Yes? Where, where can they find oh. the store's website? Well, Sarah knows... Wake up, comic book man. It's www.myalternatereality.com. Take man, it's an hour. Go ahead and see how long you can hold it. So, go to the store's website and check out all the news that he sends me that I post up. And until next time, this is Bo C. Uh, 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 yeah, uh, Jesse a Slaughter. Comic book Bo. This is Jesse Slaughter. I'm not Jesse Slaughter. <laughs> and I am the leader of the internet. Who I'm, are you guys? I, I'm at five minutes breakdowns. <laughs> The hero of the month this month at Alternate Reality is the Star Spangled Avenger himself, Captain America. That's right, all my Captain America trades are 25% off all month long. Hardcovers, softcovers, masterworks, essentials, everything that's a Captain America trade paperback is 25% off all month long here at Alternate Reality. The Video Outhouse is brought to you by some of the finest people willing to work for free. This is a list of some of them. <laughs>